Hey everyone and welcome. In the last video I explained to you how to play the first chamber of a triple ocarina. Today I'm going to explain to you how to play the second chamber. Let's get into it! So in the previous video I explained to you how to play the first chamber of the triple ocarina. As I said before, this should be very easy if you're familiar with a single ocarina because, well, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, but in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to play the second chamber. First, I will explain to you how to hold the ocarina. Okay, so like before, you bring your right hand over the ocarina and you place your fingers not on this part, but on the second part. So the second row of holes you cover like this. And the thumb hole you close again with your thumb like this just a side note depending on the ocarina you have and depending on the model and brand um, you might have an extra hole here um, this is a tuning hole and you don't really use it so at this moment just forget about it and put your finger here like this also, some ocarinas might have a sub hole here. This is used again for flats and sharps, but at the moment, just don't think about it and just keep it uncovered like this. Now that you've positioned your fingers like this, you want to blow into the second mouthpiece. So the middle one, like this. Also, I want to mention while we don't use our left hand at this moment, I would suggest you to put your hand like this to support the ocarina. Anyways, let's get into the fun part. So, how to play the scale. Um, it's pretty simple, it's very linear. You just start with your pinky and move up like this. And when you reach this point, you lift up your index finger and then last but not least, your thumb. Okay, so like the last video, let's do that again, but slowly. I will put the fingering chart on the left side of the screen. Um, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video and practice at your own pace. And again, going back down is the same thing in reverse. And that's how you play the simple scale on the second chamber. However, you might have noticed, depending on what ocarina you use, you might not have a thumb hole. You might actually have two holes on top here. So, I wanted to quickly show that as well for the people who have this type of ocarina. Okay, so while I personally don't have a triple with uh, the double hole, I do have a double ocarina with me with this type of system. So like I said, it's not a triple, but on the second chamber, it does have the double hole system. So let me explain to you how to use it. It's pretty much the same like the thumb hole system, which we call the Ikara system. Um, you put your fingers like this and you make sure that your index finger covers both of these holes. While going up the scale is pretty much the same thing. You start with your pinky finger and move up like this. When you reach your index finger, however, you don't want to simply lift it up. You first want to slide it, uncovering the first hole and then lift it up to uncover the second hole. You have to imagine there is no thumb hole, so the thumb hole is located on top. So the order is still the same. And again, same back in reverse. And that's how you play the second chamber on a triple ocarina. Uh, like I've said, and I showed you in my sample, this is the same for double ocarina as well. So until this point, a triple and a double are pretty much the same thing as well. Uh, 
Thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.